to get a good night's sleep. No, the first priority will be to continue trying to address the budget concerns of the city. I communicate with them, I think, very well. We send out a newsletter every uh, two months. Every neighborhood council that when they meet, I have a representative of my office at the meeting. I go to some of the meetings. I go to the homeowner association meetings and participate in the community events. So I think we do a very decent job of communication. I don't, if, if that wasn't the case, running against five people, we wouldn't have got this many votes. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Okay. With the larger statewide budget cuts, how is that affecting your district? Well, it's affecting the entire state, especially where it relates to the ability to redevelop blighted communities. So we're very, uh, uh, we keep an eye on what's going on, and we'll do everything to make sure that the city gets its fair share of whatever resources are left. No, just uh, I want to thank the residents of the 10th District. I'm honored that they would support me. Thank you.